I mean, part of her dies inside. There's, uh, when you lose somebody that close to you, after all the losses that she's experienced on this whole trip, and the one thing that she was hanging on to was getting him back, you know, she she's very damaged from it. And then, you know, she just kind of, it's interesting to see how she channels all that, and, uh, is pissed at Monroe and kind of has tunnel vision for that at this point in time. And so it's interesting to see if she's going to go to um, a dark, you know, the dark side or not. Like if she's going to be able to keep her humanity throughout it or not. Yeah. And um, and now that she's, I mean, like I was saying, if this had happened at the beginning of the show where she was still kind of, you know, this young girl being thrown into this crazy thing. and But now she's seen so much. She's resourceful. She's trained in, in some stuff. And she kind of gets this battle thing more that I think it'll be um, she has a much different reaction than she would have at the beginning so we'll see we will see um, I can't tell you much about the evolution of it but um, things you know they, they try to mend it and um, you know that is kind of her only immediate family member left but you know she and Miles have such a close relationship now and they've grown to such a really really great place that um, I don't know we'll see what happens with their can you can I put that into words? Blossoming relationship, maybe between her mom and her, and if they'll be able to mend it or not. So we'll see. Ah, uh, well, you know that's a it's a tough one. There's no there's no trust there. Obviously, they have some sort of chemistry, and there's something there. But every time something happens, it's kind of um, backfired or whatever. So she's not sure if she can trust him. So we'll see going forward what's going to happen. We'll see. I feel like Charlie's gone through a really fun arc for me to play um, where I've come from you know she's come from this place where she's kind of wide-eyed maybe a little naive at spots kind of running behind Miles' heels to understanding what this world's about understanding that you have to make certain choices and um, really developing into a warrior going forward and and actually is a valuable asset into this war and into the things that we, we go forward with so I think that's really cool I'm excited at the fact that she wasn't just kind of brought into this as a trained, you know, warrior, as a hardened person, we get to see her build that that hardness and that that tough exterior that everybody else has from their experiences. So I think that that's what makes her unique from from other, you know, um, a lot of other people. When we get introduced to this type of character, where it's the heroine who who all of a sudden needs to like save the world, we don't get to see that how that development happens. So exactly. yeah, she's like us. She's just us, like like us, you know, exactly. And how would you react to situations like that if, if you lost a bunch of people around you that you loved and cared about and then you had to carry on? And, yeah, so it's interesting.